Hey everybody, it's Old School Nerd. Today is Wednesday, October the 23rd. And you know what? In two days, it's my birthday. And everyone's been saying, Old School Nerd, you should do something for yourself for your birthday. You should do something you felt. You should treat yourself. You should do something you enjoy. Okay, I'll do this. In the YouTube reaction system, certain videos must be reacted to by highly trained specialists. Unfortunately, we only have this idiot. I don't know of any band that's reinvented themselves while still saying the same people better than Arch Enemy. Something happened where Arch Enemy was what we always thought they were for years. Something, you know, occasionally I say that the only good thing to come out of the pandemic was it was a horrible, horrible time. But a lot of bands during that time where they were locked away and they couldn't, they couldn't perform and they couldn't be who they were because just like the rest of us were all locked down and everything was coming apart and we lost so many great people arch enemy said watch this they came out harder faster more dynamic and i don't know what elisa has been doing but she sounds better than ever this one coming up okay liars and thieves oh. <laughs> no way arch enemy released this right now considering what's going on in america no way really no okay well that's fine anyway here we go uh, <laughs> hey i didn't say anything i just started laughing because i saw it and went hmm really two weeks let's see what happens all right everybody here we go liars and thieves from our chimney presented by century media records are you ready you're not but i'm gonna press play anyway and yes all of their information is in the description odds are you already know about them because you're a fan Let's go. For those who don't remember the last time that I did a reaction that featured that person right there, it was her collaboration that she did with Charlotte Vessels, right? And I was like, God, you know, I, I really love Alyssa's melodic tone. And she does have an amazing melodic tone. Is that what she's known for? Nope. She's the OG. Yep. Woman that looks like she should sound like Celine Dion and does not most of the time. No, 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 she can. She can she can go all the way up there. But pretty sure on this one, I think she's going back to scaring the crap out of us. I'm in.
okay, we're going to go into the ending real quick, but after that amazing guitar run from both sides, I just feel like <sighs> the addition of Joey joining in with Michael. Now, every guitar combination that has joined Michael in this, because if you think about Daniel and Michael being with this band all the way going back to 1995, for every iteration of guitar, and you know, Jeff just left the band last year. And now with Joey stepping in in Jeff's spot, the dynamic is just as beautiful as the last album. So I really like both. And I think Joey compliments Michael very, very, very well. Um, you know, Alyssa sounds better than she ever has. I mean, really. She really, really has. And uh, Charlie D'Angelo is just, when they show him, he's just this monster of a man on the stage. And you just see that. It's like, dude, slow down, bass man. But he's like, no, I can't. I can't. I'm arch enemy. I can't help myself. So, you know, there's been many, many different, you know, there, there's been kind of the three stalwarts of the band. You know, bass and drums have really haven't changed, really, since before 2000. So your rhythm section is locked and it's great. And Michael does a great job of phrasing everything across. And whether it was, uh, whether it was uh, Yona, Angela, or even Alyssa now, um, I think they've always really been at the cutting edge of the genre. Because when Angela came in, they were like, wait a minute. I mean, if you think about in 2000, for a metal band to come out and say, look, we're a metal band and we're introducing a female lead and to literally pave the way for what we now know is a common thing. Think about all the bands now that have a female lead singer that does extreme harsh vocals for the majority of the performance. We look at bands like Ginger, you know, and now to see bands like Arch Enemy and Ginger where, where female vocals can be beautiful. Cause if you think about it, Alyssa and Tatiana have beautiful melodic tones. You know, other, other vocals like, like Lauren Babick. And there's so many, so many female vocalists and musicians that we feature on my channel that sometimes you have to tip your hat to some of the OGs, the originals. And as far as the female harsh vocal, Alyssa and Angela um, in Arch Enemy really paved the way and really took a lot of crap. Can you imagine being the lead singer of Arch Enemy and really kind of be the only one in the forefront. There were many women doing harsh vocal, but to be in the spotlight like that and know that you weren't accepted for so many years. And then finally, what, in just the last five to 10 years, not only are women accepted as harsh vocalists as the female leads, but now there are whole metal bands that are all women that some of the all men bands cannot keep up with. I mean, we've seen them on this channel, so it's really kind of cool that nowadays to have a female lead singer as a harsh vocalist in front of a metal band to lead the way, it's nice that it's no longer novel. So what does Alyssa do now that it's not a novelty? Now that she's not really the only one, now that she has dozens and dozens and dozens of sisters that carry this mantle with her. What does she do? She ups her game. The last two albums from Arch Enemy, these last two, three years have just been incredible musicianship wise. And Alyssa just pulled those punches. And we've seen more of her, her melodic, which man, every time I hear this woman sing a melodic, I, I know she's a badass. I know she's the goddess of, of harsh vocal metal. I get all that, but damn it. Her melodic tone is one of the most beautiful voices on the planet, and we don't get to hear enough of it. But I'm okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Let's finish it out.
to imagine that next year is the 30th anniversary of this band. 30th, 30 years on the road. So many bands in metal have come and gone. We've seen a lot of bands slip away, bands that have called it a day, bands that have gone their own ways, bands that have, re- that have done things where they're like, hey, they come up, they see the new breed of metal coming out, and they're like, man, there's so many dynamic metal bands. They're so young, they're so hungry. Um, do we quit? Do we call it a day? Are we done? Should we just... Should we just call it a career? We we've, we've been on we've been on we've been on this stage for over twenty years. We were groundbreakers. Should, we're done, right? We can kick back and just relax, right? We've we've made our money. We've made our music. We've we've we played in front of millions. We're good, right? Oh wait, no, no, we're arch enemy. We're gonna come out of the pandemic better than they've ever been. They literally said. No, we're not stopping. We're going to up it, hold our beer, let's go. And they did. I absolutely love everything that Arch Enemy has done these last three years. And I've only been on doing YouTube reactions for right up to four years. And I remember the first time I did a reaction to Arch Enemy, I remember going, man, isn't this the band from 2000 and... Right? And I couldn't believe how update, how progressive, how on the edge they were the first time I heard them four years ago on this channel. Not really knowing that much about them other than the fact that they were really, everyone was talking about them in the 2000s because they were doing something nobody else was doing. To come onto YouTube now, to start a YouTube channel, to explore the world of music around me, to have a stalwart of metal still turning heads. Have you seen the view count on this video? (laughs) I know. And it's presented by Century Media Records, which means th- this is Electric Cowboy numbers. Think about that. Think about that. Electric Cowboy, the hottest band on the label, cutting new territory. They're viral everywhere. They're doing all this other stuff. Arch Enemy comes up and goes, good job, guys. Hold our beer. And then boom. No, seriously, look. Almost a half a million views, and it's been four days. It's been 100,000 views every day. 100,000 views a day. Sometimes you're just damn good. Arch enemy. Everybody, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.